Located at the base of Berlin's famous radio tower and now taking place on a yearly basis, the International Consumer Electronics Show, or IFA, has broken all records in 2011. The over 140,000 square meters, more than 1.5 million square feet of leased floor space represent an increase of 4% over last year. And with more than 1,441 exhibitors, the world's largest trade show for consumer electronics and household appliances continues its history of success. At the entrance, one may assume that a major portion of the show will be dedicated to household appliances. Siemens is attracting attention with a huge, oversized washing machine. This year, the many international visitors to the completely sold-out exhibition center are greeted by the slogan, Get in Touch. When this year's show comes to an end, the event organizers, GFU, and the Messe Berlin will have counted a total of 238,000 visitors, an additional increase of 3%. Another positive development is that the number of professional attendees who represent the largest portion of visitors attending is 56%, increased by 12%. Over 50,000 of them are from abroad, double the amount from last year. It is no wonder as the overall consumer electronics market is developing positively worldwide. Market researchers are currently expecting growth of approximately 7% to 690 billion euros or 980 billion US dollars. The situation is similar on the worldwide household appliances market with very positive developments. In 2010, the industry generated a plus of 8%. Electrical appliances, large and small, accounted for a turnover of approximately 112 billion euros, or approximately 160 billion US dollars. And the industry is again expecting global demand to increase for the current year. Let's begin our tour with household appliances. The trend for a good cup of coffee seems to have come from southern Europe, where it then made its way over the Alps to Bavaria. The Swiss company Jura is demonstrating how easy it is to make a delicious cappuccino. The somewhat unknown brand Navona, also from Nuremberg, is also generating great interest among industry specialists. And of course, not to be missed, WMF, a company that has been at home in the kitchen for many years. An Elvis double is currently presenting this year's new collection. In this segment, there are of course many artists and understandably just about every well-known star chef seen on television gathered together face to face, attracting the crowd's attention. If nothing else, the many international spices and dishes underscore the show's global scope. Here, delicious American spare ribs are sizzling in the oven while right next door, an Asian dish is being prepared in a wok. It is here, for example, that the Franconian manufacturer Rommelsbacher offers, among many other products, a retrofit induction cooker especially designed for woks. Let's take a look at two more booths from companies located in southern Germany. The first booth is being shared, with the products of Carrera and Fackelmann on display. And similarly, the second booth is filled with the latest innovations from the companies Stiba and Ritter. Indeed, there are a surprisingly large amount of small and medium-sized companies that are exhibiting their specialties. From flexible robot vacuum cleaners that can detect flooring surfaces on their own to complete vacuum cleaner systems that must prove their advantages through tough testing. And this brings us to the industry giants. Beyond a doubt, AEG and Electrolux have the most impressive stand. Every presentation area is individually and creatively designed. A spacious LED ceiling harmoniously combines the two under one roof. When it comes to the sister brands Bosch and Siemens, the main focus is on energy savings in the home. As a result, the new ovens, refrigerators, freezers, dishwashers, and washing machines are becoming ever more efficient. The newest innovation is an automatic dosing function that recognizes fabric type and load size and adjusts the amount of water and detergent accordingly. The system is called IDOS. And although a certain company with an apple as part of its trademark is again not represented, we are reminded that many appliances would not function without it. Here, for example, at the Miele stand, we see how entire kitchens can be controlled and monitored with the use of an iPhone and iPad. As a result, an entire area has been dedicated to the product stemming from Cupertino in California, the so-called iZone. Here, over 70 exhibitors are demonstrating their range of accessories, for use with other smartphones and tablets as well. From special gloves that make using the iPhone during the winter possible, to solar-powered docking stations for fun at the beach. 
the broad range of products is extremely diverse. And therefore, in addition to numerous interesting innovations, we see an even greater amount of less useful gimmicks. Individuality is also conveyed through various protective cases on display. Not even Sony can ignore the iPhone and iPad trend and thus presents related accessories, even though their own tablets are on display at their main booth. Their folding model will certainly find its target group. In addition to photo and video, the main focus at the larger home entertainment manufacturer stands is on the new generation flat screen TVs. They can be admired in all sizes and the questions are not just in regard to 3D. Although everyone is presenting their solutions and there are more and more video cameras and cameras that the consumer can use for 3D recording. These are being demonstrated everywhere and the customers are allowed to try out everything. At some stands, there are even 3D monitors that can be utilized without the need for special glasses. Perhaps the most important innovation is the merging of television programming and broadband internet. Various concepts are on display at the booths. Some suppliers are making their monitors wider. With an aspect ratio of 21 by 9, internet content and television can be used simultaneously. The most attractive models are certainly those of the Franconian manufacturer Lowe. Individual design and functionality have long been a major priority of this manufacturer, a niche that in today's competitive world is becoming increasingly popular. Made in Germany also applies to another Franconian supplier, the company Metz from Zerndorf. Here as well, the company turned away from mass production and concentrated on the production of televisions. And German brands in general seem to be enjoying a boom. Grundig is not the only company looking strong and displaying a broad range of innovations. Names like Telefunken and Blaupunkt, names that seem to have disappeared, are coming back. And new names. In the field, TechWatch presents VideoWeb, a future-oriented solution for TV receivers, internet and video recorders. It'll be interesting to see what else is on the way. The Consumer Electronics Show is again very much in trend. Even the first e-car concepts of the future are being shown on the exhibition grounds, in some way or another also a part of consumer electronics. If there were more space available here in Berlin, one would probably wonder about who and what additional products would be presented. In the end, the organizers and exhibitors are all very pleased with the outcome of the show. According to estimates, the order volume achieved during this year's IFA will reach more than 3.7 billion euros, or about 5.25 billion US dollars. Thus making the IFA Consumer Electronics the largest show in regard to orders placed worldwide according to the Zivai Fachverband.